think that Pearl Clegg is one of the most um, imaginative uh, writers uh, in the country. We actually started working together, I think around 1988. Um, I was artistic director of the largest theater in the South uh, East, the Alliance Theater Company. And I remember going to Pearl because I was so impressed with her uh, writing. And she was writing about characters that I felt weren't seen a lot. And uh, I said, if you write it, I'll produce it. And from that day on, we produced, I think, uh, four plays. We commissioned those plays, and we did the world premiere of those plays uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. And even with Blues from Alabama Sky, we went uh, to Washington, D.C. at the arena stage. We also played the Hartford stage in Connecticut. Uh, there were many folks that at that time that wanted to take the play to Broadway. There was a lot of excitement uh, about her plays. And during the uh, early 90s, uh, the plays that we produced at the Lions Theater, uh, it was not only exciting for our audiences in Atlanta, and we had about 20,000 subscribers, but she was one of the most uh, produced plays uh, in the country. So you would have at any given time, you know, 40 or 50 theaters doing one of her plays at the same time. So that was pretty amazing. And, and then uh, the only thing that stopped us from doing her plays was the fact that she wanted to write, you know, she wanted to write novels, she wanted to write books, she wanted to write other stories because she was always interested in how to reach her audience, you know. And of course, uh, her audience, um, she felt at the time were young African-American women. Over time, she found that her audience was much larger than that. So not only was there young African-American women, but there were older white women. There were um, uh, many, many men who loved her work. Uh, just because of stories, there's a nice balance of, um, of humor and drama. Uh, so you, you, her stories are told, and you understand the social implications. You understand the politics of it all but there's always something that makes you laugh and it keeps you going. So I always felt that uh, her stories can play any venue, you know, and I'm here on the set uh, for Steel Magnolias and directing that, and I directed The Raising the Sun for ABC, but uh, I felt like uh, her stories uh, should be on the, on the big screen um, uh, because uh, her audience and her reach is, is, is that huge. And um, I'm just uh, excited to also call her a friend because she's a, she's a real storyteller in the best sense of the word.